well uh, in a sliding in, it is given that in a slider tank mechanism the crank is 480 millimeters long and rotates at 20 radians per second in the counterclockwise direction uh, okay uh, the length of the connecting rod is 1600 millimeters when the crank turns <coughs> Uh, 60 uh, degrees from the inner dead center determine these are the things which we need to determine and uh, basically before everything uh, if the dam diagram is not provided to you already you need to make the diagram right so now uh, nothing has been provided to the inclination of the uh, centers between uh, the slider of the slant, uh, center of the slider and the center of the uh, uh, center of rotation of the crank so I'm going to assume it as uh, horizontal Okay, so now uh, the first thing is uh, it has been given that the crank is 480 millimeters long and uh, the position which has been given to you is 60 degrees. So take a center and uh, mark off around 60 degrees angle, 60 degrees and the length is choose an appropriate scale. Uh, so and I'm going to get the length, I'm going to call this center as center O and uh, let this point be represented by point A and uh, it has already been given that uh, the length of the connecting rod is 1600 millimeter take a compass from here and draw an arc of uh, wherever it meets of uh, this is of the length 480 uh, millimeters and this is uh, 1600 uh, uh, millimeters and uh, this is going to be point uh, uh, point B and uh, this is the slider and the slider is moving on the ground G okay uh, and now what are the things that we are supposed to find out it has also been given that the connecting rod has been extended to the other end uh, by a length of another 450 mm to meet point E okay so you need to find out the velocity of point E as well and at the same time you need to find out some point uh, F on AB such that the point F will have the least absolute velocity okay so these are the things that we need to find out you're also supposed to find out the angular velocity of the connecting rod okay so now before we begin uh, we need to first look at this uh, diagram it is moving in the counterclockwise direction it is the crank is undergoing a counterclockwise direction rotation uh, with an uh, angular speed of uh, 20 uh, radians per 20 radians per second uh, this has been already provided to us and at the same time we can actually uh, find out what is the value of um, uh, <coughs> uh, v of uh, uh, velocity of point a uh, with respect to sorry with respect to o that is going to be very simple uh, omega of the link oa uh, multiplied by the radius of uh, radius vector of a with respect to o magnitude of the radius vector of a with respect to o all right so that is omega is already given given to you as 20 and uh, radius vector of a with respect to o is uh, uh, given to be as 0 0.48 uh, i'm going to take it everything in meters so that comes to be 9.6 meters per second so now that we know velocity of a with respect to o we can go ahead and start constructing the velocity diagram uh, now we know that the o point o is fixed and uh, it is not moving anywhere and point g is ground and it is also not moving anywhere so when two things are not moving anywhere their uh, velocity is zero so on the velocity diagram distances on the velocity diagram correspond to the uh, velocities and hence since the velocities of O and G are zero, they both coincide on the same point. So the basically we have a same point O and G. I'm going to use small letter O and small letter G for representing the points on the velocity diagram. Uh, okay. And uh, let me draw a quick horizontal line. And uh, okay. So now we know that in during this rotation, point B is coming towards the left. So the velocity vector of at point O of the slider is supposed to be in this direction, but we don't know that yet. All right. So what we are going to do, we're going to do a simple uh, velocity triangle now. Now we know that the OA is rotating in the counterclockwise direction. So the velocity at this point is supposed to be in a direction perpendicular to the OA, the tangential velocity. So how we are going to do this? We are going to take uh, uh, we're going to take a measure of the perpendicular uh, angle. Uh, from here uh, come all the way till this particular point and uh, draw a line this line is actually the line or the direction along which the velocity vector at point a is 
and okay so what is the magnitude of it it is 9.6 meters per second so i'm going to choose let's say that this is point a okay this vector whatever i have drawn here this vector this is a vector and it corresponds to velocity of what point velocity of a with respect to point o so this is has been obtained okay so now after this now what do what else do you have to do uh, you have to find out the velocities of uh, slider and everything and at the same time you know that whenever uh, a link undergoes rotation uh, ab is undergoing rotation now whenever something undergoes a rotation the tangential velocity is always perpendicular to the distance or the line connecting the two points so now the tangential velocity of this particular point should be perpendicular to this i'm take i'm going to take this point a let me join this properly um okay so now uh, there is a this is my this is the connecting rod so we're going to take this point the dot line is perpendicular come all the way till here come all the way come all the way uh, and point e extend this wherever that means the horizontal line that is going to be point b and this velocity vector that has to be velocity of point b with respect to o okay and what about this this vector represents this is velocity of point b with respect to a okay so now basically we have a, a triangle a velocity of uh, point b with respect to o is velocity of point uh, uh, b with respect to a plus velocity of point a with respect to o okay and then what else do we have we will have to find out uh, uh, velocity a point of e on this okay on this line so you know that the point e lies on ab so basically you need to extend this line okay extend this line it is lying to the left side of a so it has to lie on the top of a in this place we know we don't know the position yet somewhere it is going to be here this is e okay so now Uh, velocity is always scale linearly so now what do we have we have to make a simple calculation of to find out where is point a so i'm going to take a ratio a e divided by a e is going to be equals to a b <coughs> divided by a b so i'm going to measure this after measuring after measuring that means after i measure this value and rescale it this value turns out to be 5.25 meters per second okay so now this is uh, understood so now what do we have what else do we have to do we all you have to do is uh, from 5.25 meters per second uh, uh, this is going to be ae is unknown a e and uh, a e is known 0.45 and uh, this is a b is uh, uh, we know that it is 5.25 everything divided by a b is on second 0.48 okay 0.48 and uh, all we have to do is uh, you calculate uh, sorry zero a b a b is 0.48 um, this gives us the value of a e as uh, 5.25 into 0.45 divided by 0.48 I'm very sorry this is ab so this is supposed to be 1.6 ab is 1.6 okay so now ae turns out to be 9.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0
So what do we have to do? On this line, we know that the point F lies on AB or let be extended. So AB, uh, the point F has to lie somewhere over here. It can lie here, it can lie there, it can lie there or outside, anywhere. Okay, but how do you find out? But a constraint has been given that it has to have the least absolute velocity. So it means if it has to have the least absolute velocity, that means uh, whenever I draw a line to represent, if this is point F, let's say that this is point uh, F. Okay, if I draw a line, the line, the length of the line is known to represent the absolute velocity of the point of that particular point. So now if if the absolute velocity has to be minimum, that means that the length which I draw, the length of the line which I am going to draw has to be a minimum. The only line which has a minimum length is the perpendicular line from here. Okay, from here, from this point, I draw a line perpendicular to this okay so I call that particular point as F so now this F is the line and this velocity is velocity of point F with respect to O that is one thing and at the same time what else do we have to do we will have to find out what is the velocity what what is the distance what is the position of F so we don't know so what are we going to do we're going to take one more ratio uh, we're going to take um, a F a F a F and uh, A F divided by uh, I'm going to take A F will be equals to uh, A B by A B. I know A B. I know A B. A F is not known. A F is known. It can be calculated. Okay. And A F turns out and A F turns out to be um, zero point. 84 meters 0 0.84 meters on this particular side this is point f uh, from here to here the distance turns out to be 0 0.84 meters okay uh, this is basically the velocity diagram and one more thing has been asked you will also have to find out the angular velocity of the connecting rod since the connecting rod is rotating you will have to, have to also find out the angular velocity but we know that the velocity of uh, AB uh, velocity of uh, the link uh, tangential velocity of this link is this value which is actually 5.25 this distance we know that this is 5.25 meters per second okay when we know that particular distance we're going to have a simple relationship we always we always know omega of uh, velocity tangential velocity is omega times the radius vector magnitude times the radius vector magnitude of this magnitude of that uh, i'm also supposed to make magnitude here so now uh, velocity of which point okay velocity of let me call it as b with respect to o uh, b with respect to o and b with respect to o okay uh, that is one thing and uh, you know that uh, this therefore what is this uh, this value is known uh, this is uh, known velocity of b this is uh, 5.25 meters per second 5.25 meters per second and uh, this is also known this is known to be how much r of b with respect to a uh, this is basically um, or of 1.6 meters 1.6 meters uh, this is known therefore this can be calculated and this turns out to be uh, 3.28 uh, meters per uh, sorry radians uh, per second uh, in the uh, count in the, in the clockwise direction in the clockwise direction 